Okay, uh, the finish of a shell like this is a, a, a deep reddish brown under coat, under layer, and then a top layer of black. And then the black is partially removed, exposing highlights of what's underneath at the high spots. Now, after the mid-70s or so, Dunhill just basically started spray, paint, spray painting them black and called it good. But the, the original shell finish, the two-tone one, is highly prized and is, there's nothing else quite like it. So the way I've found to replicate that is to... Uh, Take a combination of cordovan, uh, red mahogany, and ox blood stains and go into town. And remember, you're going to be cutting through the black to get to this. So don't worry about this looking too dark at this point. That, it won't be a problem later. If you're wondering how I settled on the dyes in, com in the combination I uh, listed, it's I use a test block and will make a smear and then start to wipe it off and see what's left behind. And that gives me an idea what the uh, highlights are going to be like. So you just slop it on as heavy as you want because at this point it doesn't matter how heavy it's on there as long as there's enough. The only uh, fatal flaw would be to not put enough on there. Because you want it in all the nooks and crannies and all the uh, low spots, high spots, whatever. Notice that the rim that was down to just plain old wood, you'd never know that it had been touched at this point. It's, it's been zapped by color. Okay. Now this is going to dry on its own time, but I'm not patient enough for that. Plus we're just going to play games with it anyway, so it's not like we're going after a finish finish at this point. We just want to get this color on here as solidly as we can. So if you want to uh, accelerate the drying with a heat gun, that works just fine. It'll not cause any problems. And that's what I do if I'm in the mood to get on with it. So, alrighty, I'm going to uh, shut off the camera and go do that and uh, back with you directly. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the uh, that reddish undertone now kind of looks like a weird copper or goldish metallic thing. And that's normal. That's not like a bad chemical reaction or something that's gone haywire. That's just how some of these uh, stained, alcohol-based stains uh, behave. So the next step is to take some alcohol, which is what I got here. Do not use lacquer thinner or acetone. We're just talking ordinary alcohol here, solvent alcohol. And wipe this guy off. See what's happening? Uh, 
I'm using a actual cloth here and not paper towels because they tend to come apart and leave a lot of lint, but that doesn't really matter. Notice that the bronze color or whatever you want to call that is starting to look less bright and less weird anywhere especially when it's freshly wet from alcohol there's a nice red coming through and then when it dries it goes matte but remember this is going to have black over the top of it and we're going to buff our way through to this and it will I assure you look proper when we're where we want to be so get all of this off that alcohol and reasonable scrubbing by hand will do for you. Like so. And now I'm going to go over to the uh, heat gun since we put quite a lot of alcohol on this thing I'll force it dry with heat and uh, I'll shut the camera off to do that because it's just a bunch of noise off in the distance so be back momentarily <laughs> 